Now this is future me coming back to make one additional very, very important point. It turns out that in PFSense, you have to make sure you don't have any overlapping IP addresses. So for example, see in this new network that we're creating, our subnets are going to be in 192.168.id.0 range, right? We talked about that earlier when we were setting it up. However, if you think about it, in the case where T or the ID here is 1, our subnet is going to be 192.168.1.0. However, that overlaps with our LAN subnet. If you are following along with the previous videos, we set up our LAN subnet as 192.168.1.0, right? And we assign this firewall with an IP address of 192.168.1.1. So that's going to conflict with this. So in order to avoid that, there are a few changes you have to do. During the installation process, you could have set a different IP address and a different subnet for your LAN, which would not cause this issue, right? So the best way of avoiding this issue is just choosing right off the bat different subnets for your environments that you're creating than you did when you were setting up your LAN. However, in case you didn't, in case they do overlap and you have to go back and change it, here's how I did that. You can go to PFSense and you can directly change the an interface's IP address with the second option here. So if I just said two, then I'd follow the prompts and that would allow me to change my IP address and also set up DHCP, right? Then if I go back to my manager machine, I'd have to then reboot it so that it's assigned a new IP address, assuming I'm using DHCP on my manager machine, right? Or I could simply restart the network manager service. In any case, I needed to catch that new IP address that we set. From here, I can finish my firewall configuration. So I went back here, I went to interfaces and LAN, I made sure that this was now set to this new IP address that I've chosen. From here, if I go to services, DHCP server, you can see the range of IPs that I changed it to. In addition, if you remember, I was providing access to the web files on this machine through my firewall. That's, that's how students were actually accessing this web interface. So following the steps that I did in previous videos, I needed a static IP assignment or a static mapping. So I updated the IP address here, which was incorrect, right? And then I went to firewall net and I updated the IP address here in each of these rules that I created. So just a quick note, just make sure that whatever network you choose for your new bridges that you're creating here, it's not the same as an already existing network in PFSense, or PFSense won't like that. 